Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday in Vancouver. I'm here with Lynn and Illy. Hi. We are getting ready for another day of past filming location hunting. Probably not as intense as yesterday because <laughs> we have less locations and then we have to go to pre-registration for Supernatural Vancouver tonight. I don't know where we're going but I know that we're stopping at Starbucks first because latte. this one wants a latte. It's latte time, highlight of my day, yay. And the laundromat which we should definitely oh, vlog. Yeah. I think that's gonna be riveting. Lattes and laundromats, this is con life. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, all right, well, let's go. So we are in Langley, and we were heading to a park, but we saw online that the orchard where they filmed Scarecrow, which was a season two episode, was on the way to the park, so we figured we'd stop where it said it was. We don't know if this is exactly where it was supposed to be, but considering it was like 13 years ago at this point, we think the orchard might be gone. It wasn't an apple orchard, it was a walnut orchard. There are some trees down there that look like they, they could stand in for apple trees. See that yeah. down there? A little. We're kind of looking at a farm. Yeah, I could see it because those trees yeah, over there are more spread out like they yeah, were. Yeah, and they're the shorter kind of rounded trees that look kind of like apple trees. I think those might be it. Over there? We're also like right off a highway. I mean, it seems to be all like wired off, so I don't think- this. It's like also it. like, it's private property too, so I don't think we should go on to it. It's a sign. Private property. Private property, no <laughs> trespassing. That's inviting. I think we can say we found them. I feel like they're over there somewhere. Totally. Totally. Yeah, we <laughs> totally, totally found them. We're, we're, looking, totally found we're them. looking for trees that existed 13 years ago, so. <laughs> Success. I think we found them, yeah. Yeah. Great. It was around here somewhere. At least there's that. And now we're headed off to a place that may also be private property and give us no access, so. We're not taking it We're doing great. No. Drinking a latte. Although this next place that we're going to is a public park, so I think it should be fine. Also, we just went into this gas station to go to the bathroom, and Illy, what was in the bathroom? A black light. The toilet paper glowed. It did, it, because of the black light, because, you know, it makes white things glow. It's disturbing, because was, why do they need a black light in their bathroom? I mean. But it wasn't in addition to, like, they had an emergency light, and then in the place where you have a light fixture, it was black light. So yeah. it wasn't like they're like, oh, we're gonna put a black light in to keep, make sure you know it's it's clean. It's like, we didn't order regular light bulbs. Here's some black light bulbs. Later. We're sort of at the park area, but have no idea where exactly we're going. There's parking There's right parking. there. I just drove past but the like, parking. But like, what is that spot? And why Karen is it... wanted me to drive into the water. <laughs> Karen wanted to into, or into an oncoming we train. We almost drove into an oncoming train. See, the Impala has taken this turn, I think, right here. Oh, okay. Because they, I think they filmed in this little area here. I recognize the storefront with the gate. We are walking to where we think this fence is. I'm following Karen's instructions. Karen also wanted me to drive into the water. So <laughs> and then into true. a train. So yeah, there's I also an active train track that I think we have to cross. Great. But I think we're on the right track, so we'll see. We're in a little town and it's the most adorable thing. There's so many shops and restaurants. And now Karen is telling us to turn right. It looks like here's the safe crossing for the track, so that's good. Well, I guess we could have parked down here, but it was a lovely walk. We found it. This is so cool. Looks a little different. They've changed it. There's a walkway and trees. And this, this is the hill that I remember like kind of sliding, scrambling down. And now it's like, okay, it's like a five foot hill yeah. with grass and a paved walkway. But it was not when we were here 12 years ago. It was much, much more dangerous. And we found it. And here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Alright, we are looking at the position of the sticks. The large, the large sticks. Technical terms. But yeah, see there was not a path here at all. No path. No path. No nope. So they've definitely no. made this uh, walkable for humanity. Okay, so they were sitting right here in between this large stick and this smaller stick. Yeah. Yep. This is the place. It's still very recognizable. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the fact that there's pavement yeah. makes it yeah, a little different. That's, that's very different. So we have Lynn exploring. I should have been filming her trying to get up this little incline. You missed me, you missed me falling <laughs> that I fell down last time I was here 12 years ago, so it was like poetic justice. <laughs> it was kind of so funny. Graceful. It I was, was great. So and then we have Illy setting up our camera. Can you make sure again? Yeah. Right up next to the pillar. Like up against it if you can. There's a spider web. She's like a team. I'm kidding, because I won't. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. Oh, now you're in like direct sunlight. When we shoot, you're looking at Dean's face. He's looking away at the bridge. You're looking at him. The death stare that I just captured is fantastic. <laughs> and you just like... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stinkbug is coming back. Where did it go? Nope. Nope right now. <laughs> okay, but I got that like focus really well. So okay. Back. Please just focus on not falling off the fence. Oh god, yeah. Please don't do that. are heading out of the park. We're gonna go get something to eat and then head to our next location. But this was gorgeous and I'm so glad we got to come here. It's time for food though because it's like one o'clock and we haven't had anything since like breakfast-ish. Latte. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> you still have quite a bit left. I'm shocked at you. I know. If Making anyone it last. has ever gone anywhere with me, I always have 600 snacks and a bottle of water with me. I have goldfish and a bottle of water in the car. Lunch pit stop. Part two. Still latte, but now. Oh, that's gorgeous. To go with it. I mean, come on. And me and my grilled cheese from the kids' menu and Illy's potatoes. <laughs> we're leaving the Langley area and we're heading to Mission, where the boat from Wayward Sisters, and I guess the episode before Wayward Sisters, is placed. It is called the Queen of Sydney. It is a landmark, but also, I guess, private property, so we might not be able to go on the boat, but hopefully, we'll still be able to see it because it's huge. But we're heading that way and Lynn's on hold with Verizon because yeah. her plan apparently is not working very well for not Vancouver. Working. No, Karen doesn't know where I am. Oh, by the way, Karen is just what we've been calling oh. the GPS. I don't think we've ever explained Going that. Wrong. Everybody's been looking for Karen in the car. Where's Karen? Where's Karen? Where's Karen? Where's Karen? Karen is our beautiful assistant, Ooh. AKA Google Maps. drove down this other road and you can kind of see the boat. So I'm gonna zoom in and show y'all. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. The murder boat. It's the murder boat. We're going to try to hit the stop where the girls were skipping rocks when they all met up. Like Donna and Jody met up and then the girls met up, whatever. So that stop is on the way to our next location that we were planning on visiting, which is Border Town, where they filmed the season two finale of Supernatural. So we're gonna head there and see if that area is private property or not. It says we're coming up on it, but it's not giving us a place to pull off. I think it's down there. I think it's down there too. It looks like, oh yeah, turn here. Now we can't go into it, but this is what it is. You know, it sucks that you can't go in it, but you can see it. There are lots of scary signs here, so we're also not going to get out and see it. But if these gates were not there, you could drive in, and this would be the parking lot where they all met up and then skip rocks over there on the lake. An attempt was made on the Wayward Sisters locations, but they're all pretty, uh, pretty tough to get to, it looks like. Yeah. With scary signs. What scary signs? There's stuff in a paintball range. Like they filmed the wood scenes and all that stuff in a paintball range that we're gonna try to visit Monday. But as far as other Wayward Sisters locations, aside from Jody's house, it's been pretty tough. Now we're heading to Border Town. So we hope we can see that. I feel like today is the day where we're going to all the places where we don't think we can actually go. This is the scary day. But today was the, a good day for that because it's beautiful out. It if is. we had done that yesterday and we weren't able to go to a place, I would have been miserable and rainy and wet. And, and everything we drive by on the way is gorgeous. So we're just seeing all this yeah. beautiful yeah. Vancouver scenery. It's really nice. See, look, look at that. This, yeah, that. it's so cool. Border Town. We got to the driveway <laughs> and 
we asked the dude if we could go look around since nothing's filming here and he said no. But it was worth it to ask. Um, it's beautiful it in is. this area it's around here. It's so pretty. We have other things we could go see though, so I'll just take a look at our list and we'll figure out where we want to go next. We checked out what locations were around where we are that we could maybe hit on the way back to downtown Vancouver. And we found that the Academy from Fan Fiction is on the way. And then the part where they filmed the scene, the final scene from LARP and the Real Girl where they're like charging into battle. So we're gonna stop at the high school first and then try to find that place in the park and quite possibly recreate. As much of that as we can. Foley flat on his face. <laughs> I mean, I've been Dean this entire trip, so. I guess that's you, Illy. I'm not putting makeup on my face, though. I don't have no, any. No, we don't have any either. I guess that's the plan. And then we'll see what time it is. Your registration starts at 7, so. And it's currently 3.45. We're at the high school where they filmed the 200th episode. We're not sure if they used the auditorium for the episode that's in the school or not, but they definitely use the exterior. We think that they used a back entrance and not the front entrance. So we're gonna pull around back and see. So I think we're gonna try it around back. Cause when we were driving in, I saw something that looked like the area they filmed at. This is a rather large school though. Look, that says drama department. It's funny. So we found, I think, the specific door that they used in the episode. Where they had the bathroom. Yeah, they came this way, and I guess these fences and stuff weren't here. I guess it's only here sometimes, but this was the entrance. That's where they had the banner and such, I believe. It's either this door or that one over there, because it's definitely not the front one. Well, I'm assuming they also added more hedge than what's yeah. here, because, I mean, there's not a ton. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think it was that one. I think so, too. Yeah. So there's this shot of the Impala driving away, and it looks like the gate is open. So they must have parked the Impala in here. Oh yeah, that's the gate. Yeah, okay, and then there's the, uh, there's the Illy. <laughs> there's the Illy. But she also the there's the there. trailer that's back there. Oh yeah, that's right, that. there's the white trailer, yeah. And then the edge of the building. So they definitely pulled the Impala into this area. Yeah. And then the boys got out and walked in the door. Yep, definitely what happened. Success, yay. Sleuthing. We made our own location tour, y'all. <laughs> Some of it was a bust, but some of them wasn't. Such as it is. This guy's helmet is the stuff of nightmares! What is happening? Is he following us? He is. Oh my god, there he is. Oh <laughs> That is just so wrong on so many levels. We're at the park where the final battle scene from LARP and the real girl takes place and we're following the map. Apparently where this pinpoint is is exactly where it happened and I'm not 100% sure if that's true or not but I guess we'll find out in two minutes. Let's cross our fingers. Somebody's crazy just came flying through which is just what happened in the scene. Oh my god that's so funny. It right there. Oh wait there's another one. Oh. <laughs> it happens in real life. <laughs> yep because there's the path going through the middle and then there's the two sides where they were both standing. And a frisbee thing. This is definitely it. It looked bigger. They made it look so much bigger than it actually yeah, is. It looked like it was like a big hill too. Yeah. But it, it's not really a hill. It's almost flat. It's just a gentle slope. We should ask one of those people if they'll come throw a frisbee in our shot. Be a tiny bit closer. Okay, that's good. Look like you have your swords up. And, uh, okay. And then when I say action, throw it, okay? Okay. Okay, good. Ready? Action! Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold. My bad, sorry. Resume! <laughs> perfect! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was perfect! Thank you so much! That was perfect! Oh, this is so great. This is so great. All right, we're looking for sticks because <laughs> we're gonna reenact the part where they charge. I could take this entire... I hate us so much. This way? Yes. Or this way? No, you have to have the umbrella out, I think. Yeah. Lynn, where's your stick? <clears throat> There's my stick. <laughs> they may take our lives, but they may never take our freedom. This episode is dedicated to the men, women, elves, 
demigods, magi, druids, and chamber pot servants gave their lives fighting and winning the Queen of Moons in the Battle of Kingdoms. Go bravely into the next world, fallen soldiers. Well, <laughs> I really can't handle any of this. Oh my god, my camera's gonna die now. And I left the extra batteries in the we car. We killed it. We killed it because that, just that. It's been a day. Just that. <laughs> That's a wrap on Stupid Natural, she just said. This is the best thing and the dumbest thing we have ever done. Illy was using her camera strap as a headband. <laughs> we are exiting the filming location, but Illy wanted to see this pretty place. Looks very magical. It's How does. magical it looks. It's beautiful. <laughs> we are done with our location adventures for the day. We are heading to the Supernatural Vancouver convention now. Is at the Weston Bayshore in downtown Vancouver. And we're gonna drop Lynn off. Cause she's staying at the hotel and we've got a register. I've never done pre-reg before. You haven't? I mean, maybe at my first convention when I went, but I've been vending, so I've always just been there and set up and stuff. Oh yeah. You've done the vendor side of the registration. Yeah, this will be weird not to be vending. Yeah. Neither of us are vending. So weird. weird. No. are heading over to pre-registration, just parked. We dropped Lynn off so that she could get her stuff in without having to make the trek over with all the stuff. And then uh, we're gonna head in and get all registered and such. Also, I will say that this hotel is one of the most beautiful hotels for a convention because it also has this beautiful sea walk along the front of it and it makes me really happy. pre-registration because we were just talking to people mostly. That's about it. We went to the grocery store after and got some food. And Illy's cooking. Cooking in the kitchen with Illy. I'm boiling water for vegan mac and cheese. I don't know that that constitutes cooking. Cooking in the kitchen with Illy. That's all. I hope you enjoyed today's locations and the two shots that I got at pre-registration. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with the Friday vlog from Supernatural Vancouver. Bye!